Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. We have a lot to talk today again because Bitcoin once more is facing here a very critical point. It looks like that we're forming here a bearish pattern. I know that so far Bitcoin during this nice bull run that we had so far always ignored bearish patterns and just continued to pump to the upside but right now it looks like that we could have here a local top and we could potentially see a bigger correction incoming potentially even this week in yesterday's video we covered the targets of the fibonacci retracements back down towards 23,000, even down towards 16,000 dollars so let's see here also in the lower time frames what could happen today and what kind of trades you can do here to maximize your gains because currently bitcoin is in a very critical point you can see here the four hour time frame and by now you can see that we are closing below the nine moving average so as soon as we're having closes below the nine moving average you can see that this moving average in my own indicator is turning red and that means that the momentum right now is shifted to the downside and as long as this moving average is not turning green again i'm expecting here continuation to the downside and right now we also have a cross between the 20 and 9 moving average so whenever the 9 moving average is crossing the 20 usually we see a dump incoming pretty soon so let's see if it will happen also this time because if bitcoin is just ignoring here this bearish pattern and continue to pump here towards again 35,000 and higher then i think this is denied and we're gonna see way higher prices than what we are seeing right now but therefore we need at least a four hour close above $33,000. So currently we have this red trend line here, this resistance that is coming down and right now this price level is here at $32,600. So let's say if we can close a four hour candle at $33,000, then we should be heading again towards $35,000 and then potentially also go way higher since this bearish structure here was denied. We had here a little bit of consolidation and then continuation to the upside it is also possible that we're going to stay in a prolonged consolidation area where we're going to create another ascending triangle and then break out to the upside that is also possible but i think a bigger move will come here pretty soon maybe even today and if we're gonna lose here the support that we currently have at around thirty thousand dollar then i think we will head at least towards twenty three thousand dollar pretty fast maybe on the way down there we're gonna have some support here where we bounced previously at around twenty seven thousand seven hundred dollar but at the end i think more or less we will bottom out or at least have a big bounce here at twenty three thousand dollar and there is where we're gonna see if here we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside or if the 200 moving average in the four hour this support area down here will not hold that we most likely gonna see continuation again towards twenty thousand potentially even lower towards sixteen thousand dollar we have covered this bearish scenario yesterday so today we're going to focus here on the price action that is going on right now my friends because here you can do some very nice trades if we have a breakout here to the upside you can go long on bitcoin you can also buy more bitcoin because remember we're still cheap in comparison to what will come here towards the end of the year but also with these short pumps and dumps here you can do very nice gains if you're trading over on bybit or femex and if you still don't have an account over here make sure to use my my referral links down below here because you will get some bonus and here you don't need kyc nothing just register with your email get this bonus here top up some bitcoin and then you can immediately start to long and short bitcoin so be prepared if you want to take this trade my friends i think the next move will be quite huge and even if we're gonna see a move to the downside if you want of course you can open up a short position as soon as we have at least a four hour close below thirty thousand dollar i definitely wouldn't recommend you to go short when bitcoin is in a bull run even though we could see a correction in the worst case even down to sixteen thousand dollar and you could make huge gains if we open up a short at 30k and this drop like 50% with the 10x leverage you can do 500% gains which of course is amazing but I definitely wouldn't recommend to anyone at any time to short Bitcoin always go long on Bitcoin and short the banks my friends 
All right, so let's have a look also into the Bollinger Bands because currently here you can also see that we're trading on the bearish side. The bottom currently is at $29,620. So I think as soon as we're gonna have a four hour close below this price level, so let's say below 30K, I think this could initiate a potential bigger drop towards our bearish targets. We also have all indicators shifted to the downside. Stochastic is looking like we could be very close to a bottom here and we could see a reversal to the upside but since right now the nine moving average and even the 20 is giving us resistance i think most likely we're gonna see here this breakout to the downside but let's wait and see nothing is confirmed until we're gonna see the breakout and also the confirmation so the lower time frames like the four hour here looks like that we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside pretty soon but as i told you my friends even though we could go towards twenty three thousand to sixteen thousand dollar this potential correction will be bought up very very quickly because we have FOMO right now everyone wants to buy Bitcoin so if we're gonna see such a correction be fast to scale in some nice long positions better if you already stack in some longs here with your desired prices if they're getting hit then perfect if not then just keep your Bitcoin there and hodl because for the long term you will anyway doing nice profits also just by hodling Bitcoin but if you want to multiply them then of course the best thing is always to go long on Bitcoin for example over on Bybit and Femex and we can go over now into the daily time frame my friends because the daily is still looking bullish even though the four hour time frame suggests that we're gonna see a potential breakout to the downside in the daily we are still looking very bullish and as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average we should expect this bull run to continue so as soon as we're gonna have a daily close below the nine daily I think we're gonna go straight towards the 20 daily moving average here at $27,000 yesterday we also tested it and right now it looks like that we have enough support here but if we're also gonna close daily candles below the 20 daily then watch out here for the 50 daily moving average at $23,000 and also here the 100 daily which is more or less at around 17 to $16,000 where also our 20 weekly moving average is lining up and also our 0.618 fib line right here at around sixteen thousand dollars lining up where we most likely could bottom out if this bigger correction is going to play out right now with this local top that we had here at thirty five thousand dollar and the bottom in march of around three thousand eight hundred dollar in theory we could even go down towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is at fourteen thousand dollar but i don't think that we will go that low because already at 20k in my opinion we will have enough buy pressure and right now we have way more buyers than sellers i don't think that we will come down to those levels ever again at least not here in the next couple of months but based here in the daily time frame it is even still possible that Bitcoin could touch here the 200 daily moving average at 14,000 and gear up then again for another big parabolic move to the upside because we could even drop down to these levels and the Bitcoin chart in the daily would still remain bullish and we still should expect here continuation to the upside so Bitcoin for the long term is bullish my friends doesn't matter if you're even buying here at $35,000 you will be sitting in nice profits here at least by the end of the year so since right now we are looking a bit toppy in the four hour time frame and here in the daily in theory we should expect a big bounce from the nine daily moving average right here at 30k i think a short lift correction is still in the cards down to those bearish targets we are also still a bit overbought here in the rsi and also in my own indicator you can see that money flow is coming down again we had a sell signal here so it is possible that with this attempt here we're gonna see this potential correction but as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average and this moving average here is all the remaining green we should expect the price to go way way higher so let's see what will happen here in the four hour time frame where we're gonna see the breakout potentially today latest tomorrow and if we have a look also into the Bollinger Bands in the daily, you can see that we're still trending to the upside. We could even drop down here towards $27,000 and still remain on our bullish way to the upside. But be aware that as soon as we're gonna have a close below $27,000, we could easily fall here towards 20K. And there we're gonna see a potential first bounce before maybe even a week towards the 20 weekly moving average at around 16 to $17,000. 
dollar. So even though the daily is still looking bullish, be prepared that such a move is again in the cards right now. We also have stochastic now shifted to the downside. It doesn't look like that here we're gonna have a reversal very soon. We just started here the correction. Only KST and MACD are still shifted to the upside, but I think this can change very quickly if we're gonna see a harsh move to the downside and if we're gonna see such a correction my friends remember it's most likely gonna be very short-lived i give it maximum one to two weeks before then bitcoin immediately have a trend reversal and then continue again to the upside and therefore let's go over into the weekly time frame because here also you can see clearly the 9 and 20 weekly moving averages those are my targets in case of a major drop at least to test here the 9 weekly at 23,000 and then if this one will not hold potentially to go down to test the 20 weekly right at $17,000 because also in the last couple of bull runs Bitcoin always when it had a bigger correction during a bull run especially after the halving we always bounced at those two important moving averages averages and this is also what I think could happen here in the very close future and also here in the weekly as long as the nine weekly moving averages is, is painted in green here in my own indicator then we should see the momentum still shifted to the upside only when it turns red like we had here in 2017 I think then we will enter into a bear market and have the nine weekly moving average as a resistance as you can see by this bear market that we had from 2017 to 2018 and then once we bottomed out here you can see that it switched over into green and then we had here the first big pump towards 14k before then we had another little bear market which led also into this corona crash in March and afterwards as soon as we were hitting again here the 7k area this moving average turned into green and since then we have seen the price only going completely parabolic to the upside so as long as the weekly is still looking bullish we can buy every dip my friends and be ready to scale in some nice long positions and also to buy as much bitcoin as possible because this what we have seen right now is just the beginning and even if we correct right now down towards this seventeen thousand dollar which is still in the cards we will still remain very bullish here in the bitcoin chart and we will see big continuations to the upside so make sure that you also have some cash on the sideline to buy this dip if it happens but also if we just moon from here and don't have this bigger correction that you have already accumulated enough Bitcoin. So during a bull run my friends the easiest way to make money is just to long Bitcoin and if you don't feel too confident in doing trades yourself especially with leverage then try out maybe Prime XPT because here you have this co-vesting feature where you can easily copy trade other traders. You can open up an account with my link down below here. You don't need KYC nothing just your email top up some Bitcoin and you can click here on follow these traders for example here the number one trader has almost 10,000% gains we have covered this trader here a couple of videos ago and there we were just at around three or four thousand percent gains and look at this in a few days we have now almost ten thousand percent in gains this is really amazing and like this you would have also done very nicely if you would have followed this trader so here basically you can just copy trade other traders you can also start with a smaller amount and then you can see if it's working out for you or not so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now let's wait and see what will happen in the next couple of hours where we're gonna have here the next big important four hour close right now I think that we most likely gonna see a breakout to the downside but nothing is confirmed as long as we don't have a breakout of course so let's wait and see and I also want to say again thank you very much for your lately support my friends because currently we are hitting records with likes with views also with subscribers thank you again very much for all your support we we are one big crypto family and we will go through this amazing 2021 year all together so make sure that you are subscribed here to the channel always leave a like because that is very important for the YouTube algorithm and also feel free to join me over on Twitch and Discord I have all the links down below here we have a very great crypto trading chat in Discord and this is also where you can get all my indicators you can contact me over on Discord and if you want to follow my private Stuff. here is also my link to Instagram Twitter LinkedIn Facebook and so on you can check out those links also down below here so thank you again very much for your support my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now mm -hmm.